when he's walking into the Shire. Frodo Baggins! John Cena, hopefully you can see him. Hello, I'm currently at Value Village. I'm desperately needing Disney Channel stuff. And I can't find anything anywhere. So hopefully today is the day I find a fun Disney Channel item. Let's hope. So I never find wrestling items, but like for some reason, this thrift store had a whole bunch of wrestling stuff like you'll see later on in the video and even stuff I didn't show. I think somebody gave away their entire like wrestling collection or something, which is kind of sad, honestly. Like, why didn't you keep that? So sad. Um, anywho, I found this like homemade Tweety Bird thing that looks like I would have made it in shop class like back in grade 10, but like iconic. Like I wish I made a Tweety Bird one back in the day. There was a whole bunch of plushes. I don't know why there are so many plushes at this location like they have three new sections of plushes i just feel like plushes are so in right now like last year my dad and i had like no plushes in our booth and this year our entire antique booth is like full full like look another wrestling game this you could plug into your what was that Wait, no, you didn't plug it in. It was an app, an app wrestling game. And George Shrinks, you guys, I've never found a George Shrinks on DVD, and I did. I left it there, sadly. But how iconic I loved George Shrinks growing up, one of my favorite cartoons. And then here, more wrestling goodies. Here is John Cena, and then we have Ric Flair plush form with the tags. Such cute bags today. Dora, of course, and Tinkerbell. Hello Kitty, though it was so dirty. So, no Disney Channel stuff? I was gonna get that Twitches DVD, but it doesn't really go for that much. And then I was thinking, well, maybe I can save it for like Halloween, but Halloween is so far away. So I'm like, no, it's not worth it. But I did get the Holiday in the Sun DVD because I'm pretty sure I like don't have any more Mary Kate and Ashley DVDs on my Etsy shop. So she's gonna be added to my Etsy. And then I got these two wrestling plushes they're from 2021 i think it says 2021 on it and this one is john cena john cena hopefully you can see him and then this one is rick flair which i actually have a wrestling figure in my booth of him so that's funny i don't know anything about wrestling but i know people love wrestling they love it for some reason <laughs> who knows why um, I don't like it, but I just thought these plushes were cute and fun. Like, if maybe, like, wrestling was cute and fun like this, I'd watch it, but it's terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. And then I did get this Pikachu Build-A-Bear. You know me and Build-A-Bears. It used to talk, but it doesn't anymore because I'm pretty sure it's from 2016. The tails in the back is just covered. Cutie little tail. Um, yeah, but I'm literally obsessed with this guy. Let me know your favorite Pokemon. Mine is Eevee. Mine is Eevee, and then probably, um, the one that has the egg. The pink guy with the egg. And then Pikachu. You're cute. So, yeah, that is what I got today. Also, I went to Winners, and I did end up getting this lip mask. I was gonna get the Laneige lip mask, but they only had mint left, and I don't really like mint. Um, so I'm trying this cheaper version. This was only $8 and it's a lip mask and it's watermelon. The brand is Woolsey's. So I don't know. I've been use using Laneige for so long now, but I'm running out. So I'll just ask for Laneige for my birthday next month instead. Um, but yeah, let me know if you've tried that brand. Okay, I have two orders to pack this booba. Oh my gosh, they chose the orange one. So stinking cute. And then the jelly cat sold the like forest green bunny. Oh, love her. Garage sale season is officially back in my city. This is what my dad picked up. He found Roger Rabbit, still in the box, a three set of Indiana Jones VHS tapes, Care Bear board game, two Disney snow globes, and look at this tiny cute TV. If it was like a VHS one, I totally would have asked to buy it from him because it is so stinking cute. All right, I'm packing up two more orders. Somebody ordered these vintage Halloween treat bags and these Disney Halloween stickers. I'm obsessed. And then somebody else ordered the second booba, the blue one. So both of them are gone now. Good morning, good morning, good morning. We are on the way to Value Village. I was just here a couple days ago, but there was some good stuff. 
so I'm kind of hoping maybe in the next like the past couple days they put out some more goodies that they didn't have time to when I was there you know so yeah we're just gonna go check it out hope for some Disney Channel stuff like always so there sadly wasn't that many new items at this location I kind of got my hopes way too high but that's okay, there were some Valentine cards that I was tempted to get, especially the um, Cars ones. I was looking through this book, it was so cute, but the stickers were no longer included. Somebody used them, how could they? How could they buy this book and use the stickers? <laughs> how could they have fun? Um, and then I found Ice Princess on VHS, which I don't see very often. I've been meaning to like watch that again. And is this like Blair Witch 2 or the first Blair Witch? I feel like that was the second one, but I didn't even know there was a second one. Please let me know if I'm wrong. Um, there's some good DVDs today like New York Minute and Hannah Montana. This was a vintage light bright with the box still. So tempting. And oh my gosh, it's Gandalf. I am such a sucker for Lord of the Rings and I never find Lord of the Rings items. So oh my gosh, that was such a steal of a deal. Um, and then I found Caillou, a cute little ostrich baby. This was supposed to be like a microorganism. But why did it look like that? Like, this is actually going to haunt my dreams tonight. I'm terrified. I just watched my dog skip. And why is this actually skip? Like, the trauma has returned. I actually looked through the clothes today. And tell me why there were so many nostalgic shirts today. Like, what the heck? Did somebody donate their entire nostalgic shirt collection? Because I was living for these. I kind of wanted all of these, but I only grabbed one. So, look what I found. What the heck? Why was this made for me? It literally says Cartoon Network and it has Dexter's Laboratory on it. Um, it was originally from H&M. Literally perfect. Literally perfect for me. Oh my goodness. I found Gandalf himself. I like never find Lord of the Rings things like this. So this is so stinking cute look at him he has his staff he has his sword this is like what he's wearing when he's walking into um hobbiton is it hobbiton the shire why did i just say hobbiton when he's walking into the shire frodo baggins anywho lastly i got this bag with some toys in it but i'm gonna quickly film this on tiktok and come back Okay, I got these two from the bag. This is American Millie, a beanie bopper from 2002. She's in such good condition. I literally love her. And then Barney. We've got a Barney plush, though. It doesn't tell me. It doesn't tell me what year it's from, sadly. Um, but I'm assuming it's vintage. Not sure. It still has, like, the little hanging tab on it. But, oh, his eyes are kind of freaky, not going to lie. But two good pickups. And... A July birthstone comment if your birthday's in July because look at this is your cutie little bear how adorable 